What's up, everybody? Watt the Seven here, and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links live stream. And as you guys can tell for the title and thumbnail, we're going to be playing some KC Cup. As you guys can see, when it finally pops up on the OBS screen, whenever it does pop up, come on, Duel Links, I believe in you. I'm currently at Duel Level 12. I've only been playing like three matches per day just to get the free packs. I really want to pull that alternate artwork of Neos. I think you can actually pull it now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It was exclusive and like some other event thing. Uh, if we go to the card catalog. And we go to, I think if we type in Neos, I think it'll pop up the alternate artwork now. Yes, it'll pop up the alternate artwork. I want to pull this. So I've been trying to like play the game um, every day for that. But still, I'm only at dual level 12. I'm kind of just playing like whatever deck I really feel like and all that fun stuff. But nonetheless, welcome to all you guys that are in the stream. Currently, I have like about 40 people in the stream, which is pretty good, especially if you're just starting off. Uh, today's stream probably won't be too talkative if I do get into the mindset of focusing on the Casey Cup. But of course, the beginning as per usual, I will chat with you guys. But just a heads up on that. I'm probably going to try my best to focus on the Casey Cup and all that fun stuff. But yeah, welcome to the stream, everybody. How is everybody doing? Personally, for me, I'm doing all right. Right? Today has been definitely a better day compared to last week. Last week was kind of an oofy poopy scoopy and I can't wait to just move on from last week and all that fun stuff right there. But 
Uh, nonetheless, though, I'm in good vibes, good vibes. Welcome, everybody, to the stream, though. What's up, Brendan, Jackie, Akiza, Torre, Miguel, Legend Gamer, Prince, Toby, Typical Asian, Zaruf. Welcome to the stream, everybody. What is up, Eddie Hang, YouTube member, homie. What's up, Horde? What is up? What is up? What is up, Prince? What is up, Ben? What is up, RDX, YouTube member, homie? How you doing? What's up, Piplup, Champ, Mr. Pungy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Potato Salad? How you doing, man? Yeah, dude, I agree, RDX. Casey Cup Free Gems, agreed, bro. Yo, what's up, son? How's you? How you doing, young viral? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, also, for the person that said that my grandpa died today, Zaraf, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm no counselor or whatever, so I don't think I can give you any good words of advice for this, especially because I also have not lost a loved one um, like you have today. But no matter what, you're going to be able to move on and all that good stuff, and I wish the best for you. Uh, what is up, Ryan? How you doing, man? Dude, it's okay. You're good. What's up, Phantom? What is up? It's Brad is HD. Yo, Brad, go work on that epic video you're telling me about in the DMs that I don't know what it is still. Lol. What's up, Alan? How you doing, man? Uh, I got to do level 20. That's awesome. Red Eyes Ninja Combo. I think we're going to be playing, um, I'm going to be using, uh, Fortune Ladies because I played them last yeah. night and I'm like, you know what? We can probably skim through some of the early levels and stuff with good old Fortune Ladies. So we're going to try to do that. Um, and then if Japan doesn't, or <laughs> Japan, if Fortune Ladies don't work too well, then we'll go, uh, switch to a different deck. But like, yeah, right. See, the thing is, I'm not super motivated to play the current Casey Cup just because of the fact there's like no top tier deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that I personally really like to play. So that's my issue right now like that's why i haven't been playing any like rank pp recently and that's why i haven't been trying too hard in the casey cup just because it's like no like top tier deck that is really enjoyable for me to play dude gus don't spoil it but yeah that was a that was an oof that was an oof that's for sure rip the starter indeed dude that's good to hear hope lopez i mean i am a clown i don't know what i'm doing so i probably will get smacked up silly but we'll see we'll see what's up ultimate how you doing also, thank you to Johnny for subscribing. I appreciate them, that man. And also, big shout out to our H F A Recon for becoming a YouTube member for six months in a row. Thank you so much to It's Braz HD for becoming a YouTube member for six months in a row. Thank you so much to YT Dan for becoming a YouTube member for five months in a row. And Goatman, thank you for becoming a YouTube member yet again. I have no clue why Streamlabs is not telling me how many months you've been a YouTube member, but I do appreciate that. And sellout time. If you guys have not become a YouTube member yet, be sure to become a YouTube member today. It supports me as a content creator, and you guys can get exclusive emotes in the chat that are absolutely amazing. You can. It starts off at $2, and you can get some epic emojis and you get to get access to my private youtube discord i have a public uh youtube discord but i also have a private one so you guys have an easier chance to talk to me so there you guys go right there nonetheless though um yeah nonetheless though oh no that was the google payment that was today keck gg ggs indeed aren't you but yeah aren't you also a youtube member for so many other people too because I'd assume you wouldn't have just one Google payment today. Because I had like two or three Google payments today. Um, anyways, though, here, Brad, for becoming a YouTube member, here's a Vega Bond. Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Today's been going by so quickly, man. Because yesterday, I was so fucking tired. Like yesterday, I was like tired the entire day. And then due to that, I went to bed at like... 10 p.m which for me that's a miracle to be fair like for me that's a miracle because i normally don't go to bed at that time so i slept at like um 10 p.m but i didn't get out of bed till like 11 a.m today it was a mess like i've been like I, I was awake i like woke up at 9 but then i went back to sleep so i didn't get out of bed till like 11 a.m today and then like I edited the pokemon video that went today which by the way when you guys are finished with the live stream go check out my most recent pokemon video uh, part four dropped today, so I edited that out, uploaded that while I was at work, um, and then while my video was rendering and uploading and shit like that, I watched Black Clover, and then I went to work for five hours, and now we're here. Now we're here. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Payments come out on different days. Yep, I know. I just, I just know that you're like a YouTube member for a lot of people, so or a good amount of people. I probably need to cut back on some of the. Uh, monthly payments that i have to save a little bit of quiche um brad is using red eyes ninja combo really helpful trust me nice i'll have to consider it i don't know if i want to play sharani's or vendreds what's up legend gamer i did in the first couple days of january it really just it, it really just depends on like when you became a youtube member have you gotten the gmax to toxicity in, Mil in wild area no i don't really play any of the events in sword and shield i really don't like yeah i i have beat the like main game of pokemon sword and shield and then i beat the post game stuff 
Um, but yeah, after I did that, I kind of just called it quits. Probably should. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I never really, like, messed around with any of the wild area stuff. It's a big oof right there. Yo, what's up, Galaxy? How you doing? I know you replied to the comment that I had on your community post, but I don't know why you deleted it, brother. But you're not wrong, brother. You're not wrong. Yeah, what was, what was the reply that you uh, sent to me or whatever? I bet if you tried to be max in no time, and I was going to say, you're probably right, but then you deleted the reply. Yo, I think you told me that actually on one of the previous streams. I know somebody did tell me that their birthday was on April 1st, and it might have been you, Alan. Four in the morning here in Greece, and while decides to stream, will rip sleep. Bro, get your sleep, bro. I mean, I appreciate it that you're watching the stream, and hey, if you want to, like, not have any sleep and want to keep watching the stream, more power to you, but bro, I think sleep's kind of important, homie. Nice to see you here, though. Or on my YouTube channel, I'm live like you are. Congratulations, man. Best of luck in your stream. Do, 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 do. Yeah, once we're done auto dueling, we're gonna hop into that KC Cup, and it's gonna be misplay time. Let's go. Misplay time. I could consider playing Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What's your joke, Determination Freak? Is it my stream? Is it my content? Use Chaos Hunter, KC Cup, stay life saving this meta. I guess I'll have to wait and see. I'm probably just gonna stick to Fortune Ladies the entire stream, if it goes well. Hey, it's okay, Toby Starter. It's okay, Toby. Stay in the stream for how long you need to stay at the stream. Yeah, and my streams will be public afterwards anyways. Uh, we're gonna try Fortune Ladies and see how that goes. I've been like, yeah, cause I've been like just only, the only thing I've been doing in the KC Cup is I've only been doing like the three duels or the four duels per day to get the gems in the pack. I really wanna pull the alternate artwork of Neo, so I've been grinding to get the uh, KC Cup pack. Cause I literally just been playing just random ass decks. And uh, the last one I've been using was Fortune Lady, so that's what we're gonna use again. Uh, Probably Valentine's Day. We'll probably get Blair Valentine's Day. Hey, what's up hero? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, how about you? Oh, how you doing? Sorry, I'm late. Hope you're doing well with KC Cup. Dude, we just started the stream 13 minutes ago. You're not late whatsoever. How you doing, Dream World? Dude, I don't know if I want to reply to that question. Determination free. Will you finish will you finish off the joke? Hey, what's up, Ziggy? How you doing, man? Welcome to stream. For the word of Misty, but playing Reptilians. Dude, that's a good consideration. I remember I um I need to go find where I saved the deck list too, but I faced against this like 30 card deck that actually used the uh one of the reptilian monsters the one that's based off of misty's design dude Vuza, that's a good idea man dude i bet you're already a dual level max dead ass bro axe raider is too fucking good dude can you guys give me that alternate art neos because bro i want that so bad like i actually like really want it dude i want to pull a prismatic one and title a video i got one of the rarest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links prismatic alternate artwork of neos he suffers from a dual personality that's that's a good that's a good like what do you call it like the drum drum beat or whatever reptilians are good for the memes you're not wrong um yeah i went against like a fucking meme deck a 30 card meme deck that like absolutely destroyed me i don't know where i saved it to though it might have been normal yugs because i think they used uh yeah yeah it was i went against this nasty deck right here it was like a thunder dragon deck that had some tech of the llama and shit like this deck smacked me up silly bro this smacked me up silly. It was it was like it was like a wacky ass deck, but like beat the shit out of me, dude. It, it was some it was something else, man. I would have to like replace these with Cosmic Cyclone, use tickets for the other Thunder Dragon cards. But yeah, I was like a Thunder Dragon meme deck that just OTK'd my ass. I wish I had a replay to show you guys, because this looks like a fucking jumbled mess, but the guy like OTK'd my ass in like the most styled way possible. I'm like, you know what? Since you're using the waifu card. I'm gonna go fucking copy and consider making a video on it. But you better know Wild Double Seven's been lazy as fuck when it comes to deck videos. There's like so many deck videos that I could make. I just don't feel like it. And also, they normally don't get views when you don't upload them right away, so that's fun too. And gotta love the space of the duel links. Anyways, let's go switch to Dark Center Carmine. It's muscular that I can't unsee. Don't worry, Fuza, Fuza. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. Uh, what would you do if you had magic? It depends on what magic it is, because there's a lot of diff different diff like types of magic and stuff. If you, if I had like any magic under the sun, I don't know. I'd rule the world. I, I wouldn't know. Vague questions. I suck ass at answering vague, vague questions. Uh, where is the third 
or anniversary map, or the, not the third anniversary map, but this one, I want to rock that right now. And then, should I flex the Varane sleeves? I'll rock the Varane sleeves in a while. Ooh, but this one looks kind of good too. Oof. This one I also like. Actually, my mouse pad right now is actually uh, based off of this. I bought the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG 20th anniversary. I mean, yeah, I, I will say it's a TCG one, Matt because it has the English Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, while well, if you got an OCG one, it would happen in like Japan or Japanese. So yeah, I have the TCG one and I got that mat, which is very epic, very epic indeed. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll rock it, we'll rock it. Change for all decks. Yo, what's up Twisted Bonnie, welcome to the stream, how you doing? That's Scud Matt, ugly AF. Dude, I have a Scud Matt, bro, fuck that. No, I do not vape. I don't really care too much about the vaping culture. I do not want to get into that culture, and I'd rather not get into a, any form of nicotine addiction. I know that for like some people that vape, there's no nicotine whatsoever, but sometimes there is. I just don't want to be part of that culture. For anybody that does do, do it, though, more power to you. You do it as long as you understand. I mean, I don't even think that there's that many risks to vaping, but it could be like, especially for me, that's like never been into any of that stuff. That'd be uh, something that would be like a gateway thing into it and crap like that. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't care too much about that culture. I really don't want to get into any of that. But if you do it, more power to you. It's not my problem. Oof, reboot. <laughs> the only D you want gives this girl is a duel. You're right, bro. You're right. What deck do you use in the climb the KC Cup? We're gonna try uh, Fortune Ladies if we can even play the fucking game. Dead ass, bro. Is there gonna be a new 5 these character that looks like a bunny? Probably not, man. Do 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 do. What animal would you have in the mythological? I am confused by that question. I have not read that Death Note one shot novel, but I do know that it features your boy Trump. President Trump. It features that lad, so that was interesting. Um, my Duel Links ID is Watt007, but I'm not going to be adding anybody. Um, I don't really add any people onto my friends list. So, no offense, bro. I just don't. Man, we fucking bricked. Feels bad. Actually, no, no, we didn't. Because we can do this. And then go and add just Pass or Light. So that's epic. Summon into Past. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then we play the Time Passage. Play the Calling. Summon into you. Play your effect. And then we're gonna change the level of you. I'm gonna make this mistake so many times where I'm gonna like accidentally like misclick. Um, I don't think it matters, but we'll do it anyways. I gotta like think about this play because it's so easy to miss. Cause you can misclick at like any point during that play and just fuck up the whole combo. Fuck, I really wanted like a Canadia or something. Damn it. At least we do have resources to go into another Fortune Lady every, so that is good. Actually, no, cause we bricked and drew into our water. So, actually, I don't. Th yeah, we don't. I, we still actually no. We still have the resources to go for the play that we want to. It's just that we can't do another draw to if we wanted, which is a big sad. But yeah, dude, I'm gonna so misclick. It's gonna be yikes. Well, I put the 2017 Casey Cup and Matt to flags. You know what? I might. That's actually not that bad of uh, an idea. I want you to play Rotillians. I can send you a DM of OP Rotillian that cucked uh, DMs and even any meta. Um, I guess if I'm getting absolutely smacked with Fortune Ladies, I wouldn't be against to trying out a Fortune Lady deck. Or not Fortune Lady deck. Uh, a Reptilian deck. So yeah, if you want to send it to me, feel free, man. Uh, just if I do start complaining a lot on stream that I'm getting that I'm losing all the time, just remind me about your deck. Uh, do, 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 do. Another fucking Cosmic Cyclone. Okay, then. Uh, on the bright side, I think can Arcanite Magician target face down cards? Target a card? Yeah, so we can do this. Um, we're gonna summon into. Okay, so we so we want to go for another level seven monster. So we're gonna summon past. We're going to trigger calling, and we're going to summon into Fortune Lady Wind, 
and then we're going to play Pass Effect. And then we want to increase you by three, so we're going to banish you, you, and you, so we can get you to a four-star monster. Increase. And then we're going to go for Arcanite Magician, and we're going to put in Attack Mode, too, so we can get that OTK. Because we're going to get the two counters on this. If his face-down card is a reactable card that summons another monster, we can play Arcanite Magician's effect again and get rid of whatever monster it is. So I think this is probably going to be the best play. Um, and then we're just going to go swing. He does not have a Kiteroid, then we good to go. First win of the day. Let's fucking get it, boys. Let's get it, boys. Um... What skill did we get? Future Vision? That's nah, a fucking horrible skill. Sounds good, Ziggy. Uh, the deck combo as well with Black Rose. Wait, what deck are you talking about? Since I am focusing on the game more, I'm going to be so lost with uh, chat. I do like the idea of trying the 2017 Casey Cup Matt and Sleeve, so we'll do it for just the max. I still want to flex that Grand Sleeve. But yeah, let's, let's flex the 2017 Casey Cup map. Yeah, what Casey Cup? Actually, I want to see all the Casey Cup maps that I do have. Cause I never really liked the design of them, so I never really cared of using them. Um, let's see. Wow. So 2017, Feb, November, and 2019. Interesting. And then this says 2020. Interesting. Fuck it. Let's rock it, boys. And then when we do lose, it just shows that I haven't learned anything in almost three years. Big old brain. Big old brain. Easy OTK. <sighs> Ooh, when you level up, no way, bro, no way. Peak of performance. Um, this hand is kind of trash. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Supernova. Dude, we're doing alright, Nathaniel. Dude, that sounds rough, Legend Gamer. I legit have no words of advice because I haven't been in a position like that, but all I can say is I wish you the best, man. What's up, Asta? How you doing? <laughs> Your boy Watt 007 is not a counselor. Do, do, do. We're going against some Neo shenanigans. Let me go see. Did like Playmaker upload that like literally not too long ago? Yes, he did. By the way, we have 100 people in the stream. I really do appreciate that, especially because I've only been streaming for like 20 minutes now. So I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, we're probably going to lose this duel though. Okay, so we'll, we'll set past. And then we'll go Kanadia, Kanadia, and Cyclone. If he uses Neos Fusion, I'm gonna Cyclone it just because of the fact that I don't want to deal with trying to kill the Brave Neos two times. That shit's gonna get annoying. Uh, we just gotta hope. Yeah, I just gotta hope that he doesn't have that he doesn't go for like an all-out assault. Oh sweet. So we'll take that. We'll take that. What the fuck is this question, Blast? I'm too retarded for this. Bless, I got no words of advice, buddy. Just play Super Smash Bros. Yo, what's up, Gray? How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, uh, Kellos? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a bad losing streak in the KC Cup. So far, I've been doing all right. I guess just switch up the decks. I, I, I wouldn't say try to, like go anti-meta, because I remember like in the past I tried to go anti-meta and I just don't get the cards that I want for it. We take them dubs! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna go for... We're gonna summon light. Go into calling. And then we're gonna summon a pass. We're gonna activate the skill time passage. We're going to activate the effect. See, I want to click light right now. 
Dude, I, I I guarantee you this stream, I'm gonna misclick, and it's gonna be the death of me, bro. I'm gonna fucking misclick it hard, cause it's so easy to like misclick it, especially when you go like super autopilot. Oh man, we take them draw twos. We take them draw twos. Got a fucking busted, b -b -b busted. Okay. No, almost no one gets on unless you get on. Eh, to be honest, some of you guys have been doing a better job of, like, starting VCs without me. Like, uh, the last one that happened on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday night. I did not start that. I was fucking asleep from 6 to 11, so. I know in the past it definitely was like that, but to be fair, you guys have been doing a better job of, like, starting Smash and shit without me. Besides, and tomorrow, though, I want to play, um, I want to play Modern Warfare because of that new season that's, uh, dropping. Those guys got three fucking back row. Okay. Okay, bud. Hey, hey, that's actually a really good fucking top deck right here. Wind? Let's fucking go. Yes, sir. Let's get rid of that and then get rid of that. Because we do have the counter trap, Bending Destiny. And I know long term this uh, Ojama Country is going to piss me off. So we're going to do that. Um, ooh, I could get Arcanine Magician out and do, like, a little, little OTK, a little OTK. I don't know if I, I don't think I have Brawniac. I couldn't even play Brawniac once. Yeah, so, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for, um, uh, Arcanine Magician so we can pop a card. Yeah. We're gonna go for that, and we can negate his face down card with Bending Destiny. Oh, no, no, we can't. No, we can't, actually. Oof. I forgot about that, so no, we gotta pop both of the back row, because I forgot Mending Destiny won't work. That's fine. That's fine. So we'll get him close to lethal. I forgot, Bending Destiny doesn't- he surrendered anyway, sweet. I forgot, Bending Destiny only works when you only have Fortune Ladies, so I almost messed that up if that, if that was a problematic back row card, but as you can tell, since this guy surrendered real quick, he's like, fuck this shit, I'm out, dude. Dude, I don't know if the new season of Modern Warfare is gonna be trash, considering they're adding Rust, and they're adding Gunfight Tournament. And I'm in the mood to play Modern Warfare because I've been playing a little too much Smash Bros. And when I play a little too much Smash Bros, it is, it is, uh, get exhausted because I gotta, like, put my full effort in that game and I've been slacking recently. Any good background music? Um, I can post the intro song that I played on, on tonight's stream. That was pretty epic. Um, but I, you, I literally rely on, like, YouTube because what I do is I'll listen to, like, one song on repeat for like forever and then youtube creates like auto playlists for me auto music playlists for me and then i just kind of keep re listening to the same shit over and over again dude don't worry about it micah we vibing we're gonna play pass, change its level, banish you, almost clicked, confirm right away. God, I get like a fucking heart attack every time I know I'm about to like misclick it. Oh man, it's gonna happen, boys, it's gonna happen. We're gonna set the double sets, go for the... Go for the boom boom. Um, yeah, we vibing. Code Red. We ain't drinking no Code Red tonight just because I already had G Fuel today and a bottle of Mountain Dew. That's way too much caffeine. And I gotta get to work early tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm gonna drink water today, stream boys. We drinking water today, boys. Or tonight, stream. I had a feeling that, that that's what it's gonna be. Oof! Goodbye to every. It's been it's been a good one. It's been a good one. Now, do you have massive back row removal? Um. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And we're just gonna flip that down. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, we're kind of cucked. Because if we don't turn on to calling, we, we're dead. We dead, boys. Oh, yeah, I forgot every brings herself back. Never mind. We good, boys. We good. I forgot every brings herself back. We vibing, boys. We vibing. Still hasn't changed the fact that we got an oof. 
Um, you add that card, bro. How much defense does this card have? Zero defense? We might be able to OTK if we get lucky. Let's see what combo this guy's gonna have. Nope. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll... Let's summon light. Yeah, we just gotta hope this guy doesn't got a kite ride. If he has a kite ride, I'm gonna cry. Especially for him playing the 30 card deck version. I'm gonna cry. Let's fucking go, boys. Yo, I wish somebody donated that amount, Alan. Anybody want to do an epic donation? I'd appreciate it. But of course, you really do not have to. Only donate if you're vibing in life and you have the money that you're willing to give to your favorite content creators. Other than that, do not donate out of pity or whatever the reason might, might be. Support yourself Support before supporting others. Does he have the fire trap? I don't know, man. Dude, we got them tracer glasses so I can protect my eyes. Because one, it's late at night, so getting a bunch of blue light can be excessive. Two, um, my, I have my key light over there, and this uh, these glasses help, help against that too. Uh, but we bricked pretty bad, so unless we top deck into calling next turn, we're fucking dead, boys. We're fucking dead. Um, I appreciate the, um, oh yeah, I appreciate the uh, deck list. Yeah, I can actually build that, I think. I'm trying to remember if I'm missing the SR Reptilian card, the spell. But yeah, I should have all those. I really need to do a better job of making deck videos though, because like a lot of decks that if I like look into it, I can build a lot of cool decks. You sound like a nerd? Well, I am a nerd, so... There's that. Don't know if you reach level 19, I got you. Legend Gamer, I do not... YouTube does not pay the bills. <laughs> YouTube does not pay the bills, homie. It really does not. Um, does this still count as a normal summon? Fuck, it doesn't. Big sad, big sad indeed. Um, sh no, we got bonding destiny. Yeah, we're good. We're vibing. Yeah, you play the destiny, but bending destiny, bro. Dude, it's all good. It's all good. Because we're just going to do this. Hey, hey, we're about to OTK. Hey, let's fucking get this game. Hey. Oh, no, we're not. I knew I was going to fuck it up. Yeah, we can't OTK now. No, actually, we can still OTK. No, we're good. We're good. I misclicked. I wanted to go for that, like, draw two combo. But we'll still be able to OTK. This is this is why I'm saying it's like I get to autopilot and I'm gonna misclick because you really gotta like think about your plays before doing them. Actually, no. No, we actually don't kill because this person has five thousand life points. So even if I didn't misclick, we still wouldn't have killed. Ooh, that TTH gonna be a problem because I forgot you had five thousand life points anyways. Yeah, so I, I dude, I was vibing too hard, and since I was vibing too hard, I misclicked. That's that's my issue with this deck. I gotta be on full full. I have to be in full focus mode, and I don't want to. I want to vibe, dude. I want to relax. But yeah, no. YouTube does not pay the bills. There's a reason why I have a job right now. I work at retail. I have a retail job right now, and then I also do YouTube on uh, on the side. But I am nowhere close, nowhere close, making this like a full time job or whatever. YouTube does not pay much. You think it does, but it really does not. Dude, for sure, for sure. How you doing? How you doing, Josh? For anybody that does not know, but it has been in the Duel Links community for a long time. Your boy Josh first used to been a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links YouTuber way back in the day. He used to been called Anime Impact, he used to been called Jurassic Impact, now he's Josh first and uploads other mobile gaming content, which I gotta say, still killing it with some of the other mobile gaming content. I sometimes see your live streams and see your videos in my sub feed and you're still doing good. So that is awesome. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing, Josh? Dude, Micah, you right, you right. 
Hey, thank you so much for the $5 dono, Nightlife. Look at this man playing Fortune Lady. He's got that future sight, my dude. Dude, those are some bars, bro. Those are some bars, homie. Thank you so much for the $5 donation. For any YouTube members in the chat, put some hype emojis and some heart emojis in the chat. And then for everybody else, I don't put heart emojis. You do you. So this is a kind of a target effect. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, oh, that's fine. We're we're chilling. We're chilling, boys. Um, honestly, I don't think I need to summon anything. I think we just attack and go for game. Hey, let's go. Look at this man playing fortune, ladies. Got that future sight, my dude. dude those are those are some bars. Eyes. Those are some bars. I really do appreciate the five dollar donation. Dead ass. That five dollar donation is gonna be like one to two dollars more than the ad revenue that I get from the stream. Because to be honest, live streams do not give you that much ad revenue, like whatsoever. The reason, but the reason why, um, but yeah, if you ever want to know why there's so many live streamers out there, is literally because of the support that they get from their audiences. Donations come a long way for live streaming. It's crazy. It's crazy. YouTube takes 30% of each ramen noodle I eat. I'm starving, bro. Dude, that's an oof, bro. It's an oof. So I appreciate that $5. Um, sweet. We actually got a pretty solid hand. Let's see if I misclick. So sorry for the background noise that you guys hear. It's all good though, all good. Markiplier is rich, but he doesn't have a job. YouTube is a job. You cannot say YouTube is not a job. This shit is some hard work if you want to be successful. It is not easy. What's up, Galaxy? Only fans still an option? Dude, it's time, boys. Time to start one up. I, I need to find the meme on my phone. I had a funny, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go find it if I remember, but I had a very epic meme about the OnlyFam people. OnlyFans might be the wave. Might be the wave. Now, let's see if I can find the meme and showcase to, showcase to you guys in the fucking stream. Dude, what is with all the commotion upstairs? God damn. Da, 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 da. Yo, don't worry about the I funny watermark, but subscribe to my OnlyFans. I Google Big Boop and get 2 million result. Big go brain. Big go brain indeed, boys. Um, okay. Um, can we? Uh, we can't really go for any combo. Yeah, we literally just gotta swing and just hope for the best. Um, we'll someone win though. Let's swing. Swing. Okay, uh, destroy his target at the end of the battle. So this guy going bye bye, and then I believe he gets to search for something. I forgot. So this is just a stall deck then, huh? Oofy, poopy, scoopy. I need Fortune Lady pass stat. Is that Poggin? Dude, it might be, bro. It might be. You know what? It might be, dude. Yep, we are going against Stinky Stall. Should have not summoned Wind. Oh, at least we can bring back Fortune Lady Every. That's good. Ah, oh, what sucks though is Lava Golem's gonna cuck us because we can't play bend because we can't play Bending Destiny if we wanted to. That's an oof. Um, and uh, let's see. Do I want to trigger my Time Passage? Because I already used it once. You only can use it twice per duel, right? Yeah, I gotta save it then. Because if I can get Arcanite Magician out, that'd be a pog. Oh, okay. But still. Ah, that's actually bad. Dude, that's actually one of the best things that this guy just did for us. Dead ass. Because now we can trigger our Bending Destiny again if we need to. Then you need... Actually, because I have money now, how about trying to be malicious or pure heroes in the next case he goes stream? Also, this money is for pack opening. Pepe thonk. 
Here, I'll save that money for the next pack opening, because I don't have any packs I want to open up from Duel Links at this current moment, so I'd save that for the next pack. Is dead ass, bro. My savings be looking nice. Basically, how my scenario is is that um, I work at retail, and then everything I earn from retail, I put into a savings account, and then what I use for you, and then all the money I earn from YouTube, I use it towards bills and um, stuff for myself. So I'll save that five dollar for next pack opening, because my bank account looking a little dry, looking a little low, and I gotta get gas soon for my car. So, yep, I'll just save that for the for the next pack. Besides, the next box is probably not going to come out till next month anyways, so yeah, we should because be Because I actually have money now. How about trying Melodious or Pure Heroes in KC do? Cup next stream? Also, that reminds me also, about Pure Heroes. I need to build an Elemental Hero deck. Because I have one Stratos. I was hoping to pull a second Stratos from the selection box, but the selection box keeps cucking me. Last night I spent like 9 bucks to get 6 packs in the selection box, and I still didn't get Stratos. It made me sad. Um, anyways. Let's summon Light. Go into calling. Summon into past. Play past effect. Change its level. Almost clicked light on accident. Oh wait, do I even still have a um, water in my deck? I do, sweet. Please give us a cyclone. Cyclone, come on, cyclone. Fuck! Dead ass! I got three cyclones still in the deck! Bro, I'm getting cucked. Mmm, yeah, we need to keep the Fortune Lady every. We do. Fuck, bro, fuck. Oh, let's go attack this, I guess. Okay. We got the Bending Destiny, so we can negate his face down card. Oh, of course he's playing that. We have a Canadia, though, so we're gonna flip that boy down. Hey, best of luck, Eddie. Best of luck, homie. And that's good to hear, man. Um. See, I'm confused by your question, so that's why I haven't been answering it. Um. Oh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I had a feeling this cunt had two of them. I really did have a feeling that this cunt was going to have two invocations. Ah, uh, now it's going to be more of an issue because now I still need to figure out a way to get rid of potential back row issues that we're going to have in today's duel. Look at this cunt. Look at this cunt. Adding back his invoker. Good thing we have another Canadian to deal with his Purgatrio. Oh, no back row too? Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys are really coming through the donations. Like, I deadass did not think shouting out to donate to me was going to give us, uh, or was going to give me any donations, but hey you man, guys are coming Mello through and I love you. me reach max level with Ancient Gears. Here, take this donation too. I love you, man. Help you out for your next pack open. Hell yeah, Play brother, love it. Hero deck. Okay, what combo do I want to go for now? And don't I have one of my past bandages? Oh, I can summon my other past. What synchro monster are we going to go to? And I'll probably, I'll properly reply to your um post soon. I just gotta think about what we gotta do here. So I think we're gonna summon light. Go into calling. Also, yeah, before I read the post, still, put some love emojis and hype emojis in the chat if you're a YouTube member. And so how many of these can we get rid of? So we can get rid of four of these and then go get our card to five star. So we're going to change the level of you. And then we're going to go boop, 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 boop. Increase the level of pass to five. And then we're going to go into Braniac. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to pitch the fortune vision to the graveyard and you can have back your purgatrio we're gonna double set the canadia because we don't want to deal with purgatrio and attack nice okay we played that perfectly um but yeah 
Hey man, Mellows, reach me to max level with Ancient Gears. Takes his donation to help out the pack. That is good that you reach max level in the KC Cup. So far, I've been getting there. Galaxy, you are right. I'm gonna get to fucking dual level max because I'm actually trying for once. Dead ass, dude. Um, anyways, though. Uh, also, I don't know how I would be able to banish the Invoker. Should I banish the Invoker? I don't know how I would have been able to, or unless you're talking about if every got so instead of so bless. Are you saying that instead of flipping down Invoker with Canadia, I should have let him kill my every, and then every would special back him to the field and then get rid of it? Is that what you're saying? Because I'm not that big brain with uh, Fortune Ladies, but still, I really appreciate the donation, Darky. So I thank you so much to everybody that has been donating, Nightlife guys and Darky. Thank you so much for that. Don't really get much donations on my streams as it is, so I really do appreciate it. Much love, gamers. Yo, let's get that Prismatic Neos real quick, boys. Hey, eh? Let's get it, boys. Let's get... Oh, fuck this game. I don't think I'll ever get the alternate artwork Neos until it gets added into a, um... SR... I mean, UR pack... Or SUR ticket. Because fuck, dude. Like, all my pulls have been just dog shit from this. All I want... Yeah, all I want is just the alternate artwork cards. Because I know you can get, like, La Jin, too. Like, I just want La Jin or Neos. And the game's like, fuck you. Fuck you, boy. Um... But yeah, I don't think the Invoke player knew what he was doing. Maybe he was, but I don't think he was. Because I would have probably lost if he knew what he was doing. Uh, max level is like, I think you have to get to 20 and then like pass 20. Is it? I didn't know that the trap could do that. I don't... I, I really do not remember if, um, I really do not remember if the game prompted a prompt telling me I could, uh, use my trap card. But then again, I probably had Canadia and Bending Destiny, so that's why I clicked back. I, yeah, I wouldn't know. Okay. And then we're gonna go for this. Time passage. Activate the effect. Almost clicked on light again. Oh man. I'm gonna do that in my like dual level max rank up match and get oofed. And get oofed bad. Fuck! Can I I need good cards, bro? Like Oh, and I break every fucking time. So every fucking time I have an opportunity to go into another every, I still technically can't go for the proper combo because I bricked with my other water. This is why I rock two waters in the deck because my character, knowing Carly, should fucking top deck into it. Actually, we're going to do this now because I need to thin out the deck. Yes. Might as well activate that now to thin out the deck. But fuck, bro. We got no Canadias. Oofy, poopy, scoopy. Do Ah, fuck. Oh, boy, boys, we're gonna get clapped. Well, actually, we might be okay. Hold up, we might be okay. I wonder what that face down card is, though. Yeah, I think this guy just realized that every about to oof his monster. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Um... I wonder... I think we... Oh, what? It stops the thing? I did not know that. That's stupid. Okay, and then what do you do? Um, so once per turn, if this card's targeted for an attack... Honestly, I think we just gotta go for another every. Oh, no, but we can't, because then we can't... Ah, uh, yeah, we got, we got cucked. We got cucked hard. Core and this guy's probably playing. No, he's playing balance. Okay, so since he's playing balance, I think I'm gonna summon into Braniac. I think he's gonna go into Braniac. And thank you so much for the two dollar donation. Love you, man. Okay, so we're going to summon. Actually, let's. Fuck. I don't know what I want to go into. Hmm. I don't know what I want to go into. Actually...
Okay. Phoenix Chain could come handy against Magician Girls. I have one copy of Phoenix Chain that I could consider adding. I think I really have another Regeki Rig that pissed me off if he does. That would really piss me off if he does. He's in focus zone right now. You are not wrong, brother. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Yugi. Watch that timer while don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, Nightlife Games. Hey, listen! Um... I mean, we're winning right now, so I want to adjust the deck, but I might consider... Nah, we only have two Cyclone already. Yeah, we'll just keep the deck the same. The only consideration I would do to add Phoenix Chains, I guess, drop water. But knowing my luck, I'm going to fucking top deck into my single copy of water. Lose by timeout? Don't worry about it, dude. Blue eyes are the best. Yeah, my favorite color of eyes is blue, but I'm guessing you're talking about the deck, so there's that too. But yo, for all of you homies out there that got the shade of blue for, the, for your eyes, you're lucky. Three light, three water. Don't worry about it, dude. Hey, we're on a win streak right now. We're just gonna keep the deck the same. Um, okay, so I got someone into wind. Go into calling. And go for that. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're winning right now, so we're just gonna keep the deck the same. There's no reason to change it if we've been on a win streak the entire time. My eyes are hazel. So sometimes they look brown and sometimes they look green or sometimes they're a mix. I noticed that my hazel eyes have been popping out a lot more recently compared to normal. Because sometimes my eyes will be like super dull and brown and there's like other times where they're like very like green. Heart of the Disconnecto. Um, yeah. Bye bye. Why do you only have three cards, brother? Why are you playing a fucking skill like that? So I was going to wait, but he has a reactable card, so we're just gonna swing. Yeah, he has a reactable card, so we're gonna swing. Probably like powerful rebirth. Oh, you fucking bitch. You're an actual bitch, Yami Merrick. The jet delay is real because, um,. To not lose any viewers, the best thing for me to do is to put my YouTube stream to normal latency. If I put it to the near time interaction latency, um, there's a chance that whenever there is a tiny amount of buffer, people would leave the stream. So that's why I always have that long chat delay uh, for my streams and stuff. Because I used to stream with like no latency and shit, and yeah. Each time, oh. Honestly. Yeah, we'll, we'll let that happen. Actually, I can remove it too. No, I can't. Okay, so we're just gonna swing. We got Bending Destiny. We got the Cosmic. We vibin'. We vibin'. We're not gonna play a Dark Magician because I don't feel like it. Fuck you, brother. Get that shit out of here. Oh no! I lost 300 points of damage! We have two Eddies that didn't notice that Pog. Dude, Eddie is kind of a common name, but that is a Pog. It is a Pog. Eddie is like a common name and not common name. Like, for example, Ethan's like a common name, but not common name. I've seen other Ethans, but... Same time, there's not like a crazy, crazy amount. Who pingoed me? Oh, nobody pingoed me. That was just a ping for Smash Bros. My hair's brown, but change it pure blonde. In the summer, it's weird. Do you go outside a lot during the summer? Because that's probably why. Your hair will, uh, your hair color will change. Uh, some people's hair color changes a lot when they, um, depending on like how much sunlight they get and shit. 
Dude, I love you too, Galaxy. Thank you so much for the $2 donation. You guys have been coming through with the donations. Like I said, I normally don't get a lot of donations in the stream, so it's definitely different, but bro, I fucking appreciate it because it makes these streams even more worth it than it already is. I was actually really looking forward to the stream, so I really do appreciate you guys coming through with the support. What's near latency? Near latency is basically... I. It's uh, like, I probably like, it's not the correct term, but basically what near latency is, is like, if I had that setting turned on, I would pretty much be able to read your chat comments immediately after they come. The reason why I don't have it like that, though, is because, um, another reason why I don't have it like that is because of the fact that when the YouTube stream would buffer a little bit because of the near latency, since there is a delay in the stream already in the first place, the long delay will basically, like, cut out that, like, second, millisecond of, like, bad internet connection that I had to the YouTube server, and the buffer won't happen whatsoever on your guys' end. Something like that explained a little bit poorly. That's kind of what I'm saying. So the reason why I have it on normal latency is because I just don't want to have any buffer issues in the stream. Because if you have any sort of buffer issues on the stream, you're going to lose viewers. And the point of live streaming, at least for me, is to definitely try to maintain a consistent amount of viewers. So, yeah. Which missiles on Duel Links? When I moved to New York, the biggest city in the States. Dude, I also agree that we need Misty. We need our girl. Uh, somebody on my one of my videos that I still need to reply to um, was telling me at like 15k, I should get a cardboard cut out of Carly. And I was like, I'd rather do it for Misty, but I haven't replied to it yet. It would be a pink for you if you join. Nah. I got, no, seriously, once I'm done with the stream, I'm gonna head to bed because I got a uh, 6 a.m. shift tomorrow, and it is a truck shift. And what's funny, too, is that normally with truck shifts, like, from 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., but mine is only from 6 a.m. to 12.45 p.m., so I thought that it was gonna be a short shift, but then I talked to, like, the person that's the head of doing truck at my work, and she was telling me that's gonna be a huge fucking truck and it's gonna last about four hours. Now they normally start truck at 5 a.m. So I'm probably gonna be there for like three hours of my shift and stuff. So I'm genuinely surprised that's gonna be a long ass truck shift just because of the fact that it's like, if it's a big ass truck, you probably should have me for the full eight hours like you normally do guys. Dude, hell yeah, Galaxy. Uh, I'll be making content. I'll be making content. I'll be waiting for it, bro. How old is Misty? No clue, but she should be in her 20s. She is a model in the show, and most models uh, that are very popular in the career and stuff like that are usually in their 20s. So, there you go. How about you, Carly Body Pillow? Nah, dude, I want a Misty Body Pillow. Um, I did reply to the company that offered to send me a uh, anime body pillow for review. And I'm still... So, they sent me the email. I replied back. And then they sent me another email on, like, the requirements and stuff. And I said back, like, cool, here's all the requirements you need. I'm ready to go. And they haven't replied to me back. So I deadass don't know if we're going to get the epic anime body pillow for the meme video. But, uh, yeah. Because I'll check my Gmail right now. Check my mail right now. Yeah, no. No email from them yet. When am I going to get my epic Dark Magician Girl anime body pillow? Come on. Where are they at? But if it does happen, it does happen. Because, dude, like I said in the previous stream, it would be hilarious if you guys saw in your sub box, a company has sent me an anime body pillow video for Watt007. Uh, I already recorded, like, the beginning segment of the video, too. Because, like, the video is going to be, like, a like behind-the-scenes look on how it even happened in the first place. And then I'm going to get the anime body pillow. It's going to be some more memes ensued. Give you guys the epic, epic fucking review. And we go good from there. Ah, oh, shit. This is a bad hand. Will I get a Misty if she comes into Duel Links? I will not get a tattoo of Misty if she comes to Duel Links. I'm not too big of a fan of the idea of getting a tattoo. But if I did get a tattoo, I would get a signer mark on my tattoo. Not a dark signer mark. I would rather get a signer mark um, as a tattoo. Probably like Yusei's Crimson Dragon head, um, signer mark tattoo, something like that. Because I think that would be pretty badass. Other than that, though, I don't really plan on getting a tattoo anytime soon just because of the fact that I'm just not too big of the idea of getting one. But if I did, it would be a signer mark. Um, the only reason why I accepted it is because Cyber Knight, uh, that Yu Gi Oh! content creator, got one of the anime body pillows. So I'm like, fuck it. If he is going to get one, 
Uh, I'll, I'll get one too. Um, cause here's the thing. What was super funny about the email that was sent to me about this free anime body pillar shit is that how they advertise it is that they're like, Hey, you know, the anime man, this popular content creator on YouTube, anime man got sent an anime body pillow from us. But the funny thing is that if you go check the video that anime man made on the body pillows four years ago, I'm like, okay, that's, that's a uh, Omega lore right there. But the only reason why I accepted it is because they were smart and they actually had a whole playlist of all the content creators that have worked with them. And on the playlist, it showed some more recent ones. Cause I was curious to see if there was any like recent videos from 2020 about these anime body pills and shit. And I was like, oh, it looks like Cyber Knight made a video on it. So for the memes, cause and, and the only reason why I accepted it right is because moving forward in 2020, I want to upload more original content and more just like entertaining content for you guys. So I'll still of course continue doing the dueling stuff, but do want to try some experimental content on the youtube channel so i only accepted the offer just because i think i can make a funny video out of the video and i already have like some skit ideas planned for the anime body pillow video i just gotta wait till it actually gets sent to me type of thing you know what i'm saying i agree wilfred i do not want sarah in duel links like if he does get out of duel links it's cool because we'll get free jams more psychic support and i'm okay with that i just yeah i just don't like sarah as a character he can go fuck himself I did not know Misty is Reptilian. Dude, yeah. It's something that not everybody knows and stuff. Dead ass, I low key forgot that she used Reptilian until like um I like remembered about it when I got add when Reptilian support got added to do a length. Yo, fuck this game, bro. Fuck this game. Ah oh, man, we're not gonna win if we don't get into calling. We, when can we see you on Twitch? I doubt I'll be streaming on Twitch anytime soon. I, as of late, Twitch hasn't been really doing any fuck ups, but I kind of like wanted to stay away from Twitch because of just kind of how strict they are in some senses and some of the business practices that they've done, especially earlier in 2019, uh, is just a lot of stuff that I just did not agree with. Um, so I don't see myself streaming on Twitch anytime soon. I like the, because the Twitch community, if you can build a good Twitch community, that is actually really cool. Uh, some of the Twitch community is really cool. And some of the services that they do have on Twitch is really cool. But I just still feel kind of uneasy about supporting that company when they kind of like made some fuck ups here and there. YouTube is also not perfect, but I just don't like the, um, just some of the shit that they did on Twitch. Some of the unfairness that they treat to other streamers and stuff like that too. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree, Eddie. I agree. No, she never got her own Synchro Monster. Um, technically, her, like, little secret ace monster is called, like, Queen of Tragic Endings. Finally got calling. Time to make this comeback, baby. Yes. Like, we really can't fuck up right here. Change level. Banish you. Decrease. Yes. Summon water. Give us a Canadia. That is not a Canadia. Far from it to be, in fact. To be exact. We're gonna go for every, though. Okay. And then we're gonna go swing at the Neos. Ah, we're still in a really bad spot. This is why you don't play three light. Why? I'm confused by that statement, bless. Just accepted that contract and switch over to Mixer. Yes, I agree. I disagree. YouTube isn't a job. Can your boss at work demonetize you? Have you ever heard of something called self-employment? It's still a job. It's a career that you can go into if you want. It's a self-employed business that you work on on yourself. You still have to put a lot of hard work into doing YouTube. On paper, all it does seem like is that I just sit, record video, and upload it. But at the same time, it's just not how it is. There is so much behind the scenes work that you have to do for content creation. And there's just so many things that you just like have to know about the website, know what people want, figure out the time to make the video idea, etc, etc. YouTube, I will always consider as a job and as a career because it is something that not everybody can do. 
you have to be very smart about it. You have to be lucky, smart, and deliver like the right content to the people at the right time and stuff. Not everybody can just upload a video on YouTube and get rich and famous. It's literally not how it works. This platform is way too oversaturated and there is so much YouTube content out there. You can look up a statistic on YouTube on like how many videos get uploaded every single minute. It's like in the thousands. It's fucking ridiculous. And the fact that like myself and other people can make this as like a little career or whatever. Like for me, it's just a little, it is a, like a side hustle and stuff. And honestly, if I pushed myself even more, I probably could make this into an actual career because this is something that you can keep climbing and keep creating content over and over again. Yeah, I don't know. I, I It's just something about it. Like, I, I understand why people think that this is, like, not a job and stuff, but there's still so much hard work that you do put into this because you can't just upload a trash video and expect it to get views. It's just not how it works. Mm. I will not surrender 72 hours into the KC Cup. I do not plan on climbing the KC Cup uh, stage two whatsoever. For me, if I do get invited to Worlds, literally the only reason how I would get invited to Worlds is being a content creator for it, because I know that I'm not going to put the time into trying to be like the top person for it and shit like that. I just know that's not going to happen. You can make, you can live on YouTube alone if you have 100k, but it still depends on how many views you get and stuff like that. Most people that are, yeah, if, if somebody like me that only has 15k subscribers and was able to make this as a full-time job, literally the only way that would be possible is if I had other sources of social medias. Like if I also made, um, yeah, like if I also made videos or if I also did like live streaming and shit, maybe like my Twitch stream would be like bigger and shit, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna flip this down. Nice. Oh, congratulations, Nightlife. Ah. It's a very interesting situation to be in, that's for sure. Excuse me. Okay. Can he negate that? Or is his bacon saber trying to trigger? It really depends on your outlook at life. To be honest, there's no best job in the world because it, it the only way you can consider something the best job is for you personally. Best job is not a question that people can simply answer. Okay, so we're gonna go Fortune Vision. Yes. Um, I'm curious though. Honestly, I feel like going into Brawniac would be a good play. Hmm. Yeah, because he does have a bacon saver. Hmm. I think I am going to go into Brawniac. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Ah, I did that too early. I think we'll be okay, but I did this too early. I did not mean to do that too early. And you know what? We'll go for something else instead. We'll do a different play. We'll we'll do a different play right here. Oh, and we can still go to Brawniac through this play anyways. So you know what? I'm not going to cry. Yeah, we can still go to the Brawniac this way. I didn't mean to do that, but that's what we're going to do. Discard you, discard you, return that, and return that. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, that would have been a mistake. Let's see if he has Kiteroid. Let's go. Dude, I hope I am going to Minneapolis for the World Championship. So, I've, I've been saying this on my community tabs, but I never said it in an official video. So, I actually live pretty close to Minneapolis. I don't live, like, next to it or anything like that, but it's a... I can drive to it in a day easily. Um, so, due to that, if any of my friends that are content create or just any friends in general, if any friends that I personally know online and stuff like that, that either get invited to Worlds, playing the go to Worlds, etc., etc., what I want to do is that I want to like go down to the world's event, book a hotel, and then while there's some free time for the content creators and stuff that get invited to worlds that I personally know, I would love to find an hour or two to meet up with them. Honestly, what I really hope is I really want Brad to get invited to worlds again because he got invited to worlds last year as a content creator. It would be so fucking awesome if Brad got invited to this year's world, got flown out to the United States, and me and him could meet up uh, for the first time ever in person. And just in general with any content creator friends uh, that potentially get invited to worlds, I would love to meet them. And since Minneapolis is really close to me, me, I would just dude. the thought of it just excites me so much and that's what I want to have happen so I don't care if I do get invited to worlds as a content creator or not no matter what if any of my friends that I know are going to worlds that are online and stuff I would just love to meet up with them man because the idea of meeting up with some online friends would be an absolute dream so yeah yeah you too I haven't been reading chat too much uh, just because I was focused on the duel but yeah, it is not something that you can just go and get views. Ethan got to go to Worm to farm content when not invited as community creator. Yes, dude, let's go. And this guy's grit. And look at this beautiful hand. <laughs> this hand's fucking doo doo. I'll sneak in. Yes, dude. Duel Links pack openings with Brad. Ethan's gonna milk you, Brad. I already do. I still need to... Brad, in one of my streams, said he was okay with me downloading his video and re-uploading it onto my channel with no context. So I still got that going for me, so I'll just do that, you know what I'm saying? Will I go to Worlds? Who knows? It literally depends if I get invited to Worlds as a content creator. Um, and honestly, we'll just have to see if I'm still on the good list, uh, with Konami when that comes. Cause I know I was very, 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 very transparent that I got invited to, um, the LA party that happened last week. I don't know. I don't think I did anything bad for being very transparent that I got invited to it, but maybe that could have made, lose me the opportunity to be on the good list for their PR team and stuff. And also I told the PR guy that, um, I am 18 years old and that's why I declined it. Um, the party in the first place, cause that's the email I sent back to him. So I don't know, maybe I've lost my opportunity to still do PR stuff with Konami, which would be a big sad, but no, my, my hope is that I'll get invited to worlds as a content creator and go from there. If not, then we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm just so happy that Worlds is so close to me that there's still like a lot of options I do have, even if I don't get invited to um, Worlds as a content creation. Um, I don't know when me and Dan are going to do it this week, because last week me and Dan, uh, him and I recorded a draft pack video not draft pack last week me and dan were supposed to record a draft pack video with each other but what it turned out instead is that we just basically talked for three hours i wasn't recording the entire time but the moment that dan hopped into the discord call that me and him had we he was recording the entire session due to that um yeah due to that at some point he's gonna upload um his podcast of me and him like doing it um let's see does this negate it okay There we go. Gonna play the calling. 
Oh, this guy gonna surrender? Dude, imagine he had two Flutists in his graveyard. He would have been mad if I whipped out the third Canadia. Dude, I literally have every card for Super Happy Samurai, and so I just never played the fucking deck. Dude, there's like so many deck videos that I could make. I just never get around to it. Because one, if you don't make a deck video on the content immediately, nobody gives a shit. Literally nobody gives a shit about it. If you don't make the deck video, the second the cards come out in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, everybody resident sleeping on you. But still, I have like literally every card for Super Heavy Samurais and I really gotta make a video on it at some point. If you can win, anyone can go to World, easy or not. Getting invited to Worlds is not easy. Literally... The, one of the reasons why I say that the only way I'm going to get to Worlds is being a content creator, because that's literally the only chance that I have to get invited to Worlds is being a content creator. Literally because of the fact that I don't I don't spend that much time playing KC Cup Stage 2, especially compared to other people. Like, you have to spend, every time a KC Cup comes out, or any of those, like, what, what was the other event called where you can get an invite to Worlds? I forgot what it was. I think it's like... Yeah, was it, isn't it like one last event that you have to do um, before you get like the official ticket? I don't remember what the other one's called. But you have to like dedicate so much time in those other events, like pop off. So you have power of dark. Cool. Um, how do I want to summon Broniac? I guess I might have to go the every route. Hmm. Let's do some Oonga Boonga shit. Let's do some Oonga Boonga shit. So let's use Fortune Vision. Yes. Um, actually... Yeah, let's add past. Summon past. Play calling. We're going to go to our lad, Broniac. Probably not the best play. But I'm going to put my faith in Broniac he's been putting in the work in today's stream. How many lights do I have left? I got one left on the deck, so I'll pitch you. Uh, yeah. If you only kind of find out to don't do it for the last year, get invited, pal. Appreciate the support, Eddie. Oh, mega lol. Yeah, he's got some of that big boy. I'm trying to remember, does Qu doesn't Quinlet negate Canadia? No, we'll find out soon. Yeah, the only one can win is if we go into Calling, which I don't think is going to happen. Yeah. We literally have to, like, stall this out hardcore. Um, Still, water. Sitting water would be the play. <laughs> ah. Fun. Kiwi Magician Girl, you're pretty hot. Why don't you play with the Quinlan one? I am so confused. Um, Let's see. Alpha male strats, boys. Alpha male strats. Let's get rid of that Yami. Um, um, if I increase your level by 3, then I'll just get another 900. Uh, then we could crash. But no, at the same time, we need time passage if we do get into, because I already used this duel, didn't I? So, yeah, we got to end turn. Apple Magician Girl. Poopy poopy scoopy. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
That's what Kiwi is for. Yep, and I just witnessed that. So I guess I should have time passage and crash. But even if I did, it wouldn't have mattered. You're going first. Another power of dark. Magician girls have been pretty popular recently. Um, I could show you the deck list after this. It's just that some people criticize my deck list, so you might want to look somewhere else for um, my version of it, but yeah. Let's summon you. Let's play Time Passage. Change your level. Banish you. Decrease, play Light's Effect. Go into Water. Eh, still pretty bad. At least we can do another deck thinning. Actually, we can go into another every later, so it's not bad. A duel against Magician Girls and joins it. I mean, I wasn't giving up against it. I just didn't do the right play at the end. But then again, there's no hope. Like, I wanted to summon Wind in attack mode. Because I thought that I could still flip down the Quinlet Magician with Canadia. But I forgot that, yeah, Kiwi negates uh, those effects, so... That's what I was doing, so I wasn't trying to give up, it just kind of happened. It's kind of, no, it just kind of didn't happen. Ah, oh boy. Dark Magical Circle's a bitch. Sure, why not? May the Max Mass Hero today do congratulations. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, Andrew. Appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Fuck. I was really hoping that we top deck into a past. Oh well. We're gonna do this. Actually, we should have summoned a fortune lady monster and then did this. So we already misplayed right there, but it's all good. I don't really care too much. Oh well, that helps us out. Yes and no, actually. Uh, we'll set the bending destiny. And then, I wonder if I should just pass turn, see what happens. Because, I mean, no matter what, he's going to activate him in just navigation. Hmm. Hmm. I think he's going to get it back Made anyways. It to max with masked heroes today. going to get it back anyways. That's fine. Yeah, let's get an econ. Yeah, we can, let's, let's get rid of econ. How do I donate money to you? Because one day I'll donate a lot of money. Um, three ways to do it. You do it through Super Chats. The, uh, if you're watching on mobile, there'll be a little like money icon next to the chat button that you can click and you can donate through that way. In the description, there's also a... What's it called? There's also... A little thing for Streamlabs where you can donate through that too if you want. So yeah, it's up to you. Dude, same here, Andrew. I tried to pull for one today and it just did not happen. Which made me big sad. Big sad indeed. So I got a pass now, which is epic. Um... Could get rid of our wind if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we can't do our face of ones? My bad then. Then we will get rid of water. I was hoping I could get rid of that one right there. That's fine, though. Not a big deal. Magician navigation! I think we might be pretty close to losing, though. Oh, well. <laughs> um, guess it doesn't matter which one. Then again, this one had the lower attack, though, so we should have got rid of Dark Magician. Me and this guy keep trading misplays back and forth. Like, he shouldn't have waited to use his Magician's Navigation so long. I made the mistake of, um... Why did you target my Fortune Vision? Are you going to banish one of my cards? 
Oh, whatever. Whatever. I summon. Yeah, you use this magician's navigation so late. I use my pass so late. You both make an unga boonga strats. Another magician navigation. Holy crap! Luckily, we can banish one of his dark magicians, so that's epic. Yeah, literally, we just gotta play the long game. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, I'll get rid of the one in defense position. Um, and I believe you did not use a ability right away yet. Nope, you used Power Dark, so if I want to deal a lot of damage right now, I could. Um, because I increase it by 3, I just don't think the difference will still be there, because I don't even think it goes past 12. Yeah, max of 12. So we'd only be at, um... we only... we'd only be at 5,000, so... I could get rid of his Ghost Destroy right now, but then I run the risk of having a weak monster in attack position. Hmm. Eh, still, I don't think it'd be the end of the world to summon water. I think I'm just gonna do it like this, though. I think I'm just gonna do that. Just go. Yeah, we're overdue for a ban list. Yeah, after this KC couple, probably a week after the KC couple, probably get a new ban list. Yummy Bakora upload video? No way. I predict a lot of decks are gonna get hit soon. Did Yummy upload a video of her winning? Ooh, maybe we should have summoned water and destroyed the Ghost of Troy. This guy's gonna summon... Well, no, he can't summon Brawniac. So I don't have to worry about that. Ooh, what does this guy do? I haven't seen him. Ooh. Ooh. Should have summoned water. Should have summoned water. Yeah, I kind of assumed so that Yummy would upload a video on her winning that little tournament. Big pogs, wait. Ah, she did a double upload just now. Ooh, we got cucked. Ooh, that was the worst thing to draw into. Wait, we still got one line in the deck though, right? Okay, we're good, we're good. That would have been bad, bro. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Oh no, we're still kind of cucked. What monster can we summon? Yeah, we can't go for the light play if we... Yeah, we gotta do this. Probably the Brawniac play would be good. Um... Ah. Fuck it, boys. We're going balls deep. We're going balls deep, brothers. Boom, boom, boom. Got to banish all three of you. We're going Oonga Boonga play. This duel's been entirely Oonga Boonga, so we, got, we still got to continue on the Oonga Boonga strats. Oonga Boonga plays. Oonga Boonga plays. Fortune, lady, every. Join the fight. OTK this fool tonight. Not enough. Big sad. If it would hit Dark Magician, what would they be? Dude, let's just put Dark Magician on the semi-limitless, bro. Fuck that card, bro. Fuck it. Oh, if only. If only. I'll set a water and just hope for the best. A. A. Um. Blackwing's probably the one that's hit for Will Warren and then Dark Magician Navigation or Circle. No, both of those cards probably won't be hit just because they are UR box cards. The Duel Links has never hit a UOX box card in the history of the game's existence. They have never hit a UR box card in the game, and, and it's, yeah, it's never did that. I wonder if Yummy knows about your existence, Watts. Um, I think she does. I know she liked one of my tweets on saying congratulations, like the official Duel Links post. Um, yeah, because me and Yummy before have never interacted with each other, but I think it's one of those things where, like, she has seen my videos on her on YouTube before. I've seen her videos on YouTube before. 
Um, and she probably knows my existence because I am uh, under like Brad retweets a lot of my tweets, replies to a lot of my tweets, likes a lot of my tweets, um, and that shit right there. I'm on the top of Brad's like channel page, and I'm also pretty um, up high on the channel page with uh, YT Dan. Where like if you click on channels on these people's uh, channels and stuff, you'll see um, certain content creators and stuff like that. So I think it's a something where we both know of each other's existence, but I have never interacted with Yum Bukora whatsoever uh, before on YouTube. So I don't know. All I say is like I respect the grind. Yeah, because her content has never been for me. I've watched some of her content and it's never been something that like I would sit down and watch all the time and stuff. But I respect her as a content creator for the Duel Link scene because she did a really good job of doing well on YouTube and on Twitch, marketing marketing herself properly as a content creator and being able to get opportunities like getting flown out to LA and stuff like that. She is definitely somebody that did a really good job for that. And that's why she also got invited to Worlds and stuff like that. So I respect her as a content creator, which is something that I never really cared too much about her content personally, because it just never really interested me. But I no, think her Konami thumbnails look good. A lot of people- cards. BC of the new no ban list feature in the duel. But yeah, a lot of people, but yeah, a lot of people like her content. I like her thumbnail style. Her thumbnail style is really good. So yeah, respect to her. But yeah, contest has never been for me. Um, I, what was the cards I was gonna search for though on here? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at ban list cards. That's what I was gonna do. And thank you so much for the five dollar donation, Andrew. Um, eh, you know what, Andrew? I don't think that would. I don't think that's completely wrong. Yeah, I, I feel like that they might be more willing to hit UR box cards because of the no ban list feature. Uh, dual rooms, no ban list, dual rooms, but still, at the same time, people are, but still, people that invested a lot of money into the UR box cards are gonna be super, super, super upset. Like, I know it will happen, I know eventually they'll hit a UR box card, but I think Konami is still gonna try to avoid it as much as they can. But yeah, no, if we check right here, as you can see, we have Amazon as Princess, the only UR card that's ever been hit in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, and then if we go to like spawn traps, I believe there's no, yeah, there's only SR cards and stuff. That's it. Um, yeah, that's literally it. They all hit SR, SR cards that are attainable through, you know, structured X and, uh, boxes, but they, yeah, they have never hit a UR card. Found you recommended for me on so I got an anchor. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's always good for any Duel Links content creator to do well because, yeah, YouTube recommended will come through. I think, yeah, because I think if I check my YouTube stats, it's been a while since I've, like, dug down the rabbit hole in my YouTube stats, but I think there's a section in my YouTube stats that actually tells me, like, where my videos are getting recommended from. Still, if I went to that uh, LA party for Duel Likes, I would have been able to uh, meet up with Yummy Bakora, so that would have been cool. Um, let's see. So what was my video that did decent? So let's go to this one. Let's go to analytics. Reach. Um. Yo, YouTube stats kind of wild, bro. So it looks like. Okay. So my new video, or so my Dark Side Dimensions Joey Red Eyes deck video, it got recommended, uh, so there was 950 impressions from this video. Click through rate views. Interesting. But yeah, a lot of people saw my DSOD Joey Red Eyes deck, seen the thumbnail at least and stuff like that from Duel Links meme. What about this video? What's this video? From, I think, Chico? Chico Salad? I think that's his thumbnail. And then Playmaker. And then I don't know who this guy is. I would have to click on the video itself. But yeah, no. There's a lot of impressions. So that's cool. Uh, what about, like... Hmm. Uh, curious on how this video did a while. Because one of my Black, my Black Clover video did surprisingly well. 3.8k views. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Oh, this video get pushed a lot. YouTube search. So a lot of people found my Black Clover video from YouTube search. That's cool. Interesting. I know I'm not showing it on stream, but yeah, you can take what you you take what you get, I guess, from uh, hearing my voice about it. 
Now, YouTube analytics are interesting, dude. You can spend so many hours on YouTube analytics, it's bad. I probably should look at my YouTube analytics more than I do, but at the same time, I kind of like almost not knowing what's popping with my channel, so I don't know. YouTube analytics impressions are always fun. Yeah, it's something else. Yeah, no, I really, but yeah, I really don't look at my YouTube analytics as much as I should. <laughs> Literally, I just upload videos and then just see what does well, and that's it. I never really look at how much revenue, I very rarely look at the revenue I make from my videos. Um, yeah, I barely do. I barely look at, like, how my videos get pushed out and stuff. I probably should, I just don't. Your boy Brad's been lurking this entire stream. Oh, I probably should have Canadian that right away. Well. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Hermon Grangar? Thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, I really should have Canadian right away. Ugh. Oh. Still, we want to summon a wind. Probably could have done that, uh... I guess I could still do the Brawniac strat. Um... Still, I think every is going to be the better play. Dude, I'm a dumbass. I've heard of the word eluding, but I need to look it up. Sleeping is evade or escape from. Huh. Do, do. Big brain words from It's Brad is HD. Puny brain, what the bull seven cannot comprehend. Uh, it's probably like 4 a.m. for UK. That'd be my guess, 3 or 4 a.m. in the UK right now. Nah, Brad has been having sleeping issues. He has not been getting that much sleep. Dude, chat, I'm getting fucking hungry, though, deadass. I'm getting hungry. Dude, yesterday, yo, so, when it comes to me and Slim Jims, deadass, like, I will, like, eat, like, a fuck ton of Slim Jims, and then it gets to the point where, like, take a break from Slim Jims for, like, a month or two. But yesterday, I was hanging out with some friends, bought one Slim Jim, and you know what? Slim Jim sounds fucking good right now, dude. Sounds delish right now. Anyways, this counts as a targeted. Targeted like card this card. And you'll banish. Hey, then we summon wind. Oh, we can't do anything. Feels bad. Um. Ah, that's why. Stinky. Oh, we might get drowning over here. Or not. Nah, dude. Americans, we got big brains. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nah, the English language is something I've always struggled with, as you guys clearly could tell. Deadass, if the English language was not my first language, I would have never learned how to speak this dumbass language, because in general, the English language can go suck a fucking dick. I do not like this language, but... At the same time, it's the one that I learned, and I'm gonna stick with this one till I die. <laughs> Cause yeah, in general, I also have a difficult time with learning other languages. I remember in high school, since it was required for you to learn a uh, like a different language, due to that, I um, took Spanish for one year. Cause I'm like, hey, if I'm gonna learn a second language, I might as well learn a language that is also commonly used in my um, or not commonly used, but it's still like there's enough people. Where I live that also speak Spanish, so I'm like, if I'm gonna learn a language, I guess I might as well learn the one that a lot of people speak. Um, so due to that, that's why I took um, Spanish for one year. But, oh, I did the wrong thing. Since I was talking to you guys, I, sh I, I wanted to add calling and not passed. Whoops. Yeah, because that's what I was doing for my calling. This is all I do. I can't talk to you guys. If I talk to you guys, I make the tiny misplays, and that's gonna cost me the duel. Dude, hello galaxy, how you doing? I should remember what Como Stas means, but I don't. I don't remember. It's one of those common ones too. I think it's just how are you today or some shit like that. 
Yeah, uh, you know what thing I don't what I don't like though about some of these languages, I never got why they had like different languages or I mean words have genders and stuff. That's the one thing I'll give the English credit credit. Fuck bro, it is so obnoxious when um you're learning a new language and then on top of that you have to learn the female and male pronunciations of those words. Like my dumbass would always mix them up. Nah, I don't need to speak Spanish like Playmaker Duel Links. I'm good. Leo, shout out to the boy. Playmaker's a lad. Um, fuck. I think we'll set pass and attack. How you doing? Yeah, no, like, I took a year of Spanish, but I forgot all that shit. Literally, the only reason why I passed Spanish with a B is because, shout out to my teacher. My teacher, my Spanish teacher was a fucking lad. It was annoying, but at the end of the day, it worked out where his tests were categorized. So you would take one big test, but your grades would go in separately for each different category. So you would, yeah, so there would be, like, portions on, like, trying to figure out sentences in Spanish trying to spell out words in Spanish and shit like that. Just a bunch of different categories for like the uh, for language and stuff. So, going into it, you would get four different grades after you did a test. And then what he would allow you to do is that if you didn't perform as well as you wanted, you can come after school and only study the portions that you did really bad on and then retake only those portions that he did really bad on. And so what I would do is that I would do a study session with him. We would go and he would pull out the test that I just took and we would go. Yeah, and we would go and review everything. And then literally I just take the test right away. Like what I used to do, I used to been like, okay, I'm going to go home and study for a little bit, but I'd still do bad. So what I would do is I would just review it with him, memorize all this shit and just go along my day. So, yep. I probably should have took German because my ancestors are German, but like I said, it's like there would have been no value to me learning German because I don't see myself going to an area where a lot of people speak German, so I, that's why I didn't learn it. Uh, but no, my ancestors are German, so it, it would have been cool. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah, I can go for the Arcanine Magician and just win. <laughs> We're gonna summon you. We're gonna play Time Passage. Thank you so much for the two dollar. Um, change level. We're going to banish. Yeah. Decrease. Why not? Yes. And then we're gonna go into water. Draw two cards. I want Alistair an invocation to two. I think what they're going to do, they're gonna hit one of them to two, not both. But yeah, if Konami wanted to make an impression, if they wanted to like sh make people's heads explode, they would hit one of those cards as like the first card to hit as a UR box card. I talked about this before um, in a call. And a Discord call. But yeah, if they if the only card I could see Konami hitting for a UR box card would be one of the invoke cards. Especially to like really make people like, whoa, they're gonna actually do it type of thing. Everybody should just learn German and pronounce the Cyber Dragon cards, right? Yes. Yo, what's up, Boko? How you doing, man? See, I always get your comments, Boko, because since you used to do YouTube consistently and you have over 10,000, or not 10,000, you have over 100,000 subscribers and you also have the verified mark and all that crap. I always see your comments because every time I go on my YouTube studio app, it will always be like, whenever you comment on one of my videos, it would always pop up. Uh, you got a notification from a YouTuber that's huge. So I always see your comments, homie. How you doing, man? Nice to see you in the stream. Their fusion's already at two. Yeah, if they wanted to kill the deck, they would definitely do something crazy like that. But still, the deck would technically still be usable because if they did hit one of them to two, uh, Invoker. Yeah, if they hit like Invoker, Invocation to two, the you, people would still like want to try to play Purgatorio and other stuff like that. Still, at the same time, I don't see them hitting Invoker. Just if if they want to add the other Invoked Fusions. <laughs> if they did that, my best did you make my Shadal invoked mech deck instead of dual links? Oof! 
Honestly, they should hit Sorcery Cut and Delic. They should put it to 1500. Because that card is way too good. Um. Yeah, dead ass. I don't like back row decks. I might just go for the Oonga Boonga strat. Actually, yeah, we're going to go for the Oonga Boonga strat. Oh, no. Dead ass, though. We actually can't because I, I only rock two win, not three. Oof. Looks like we're going for the, uh, looks like we're going to go for the original play. And going to go for likes. I forgot. I only rock, um, two win. I don't think I rock three. Yeah, because I rock three, three, two, two. That's where my ten monsters are from, so, oof. I, if not, I was going to summon win and pop both of his back row, but that ain't happening. Don't worry, this guy has some connection issues. He's just going to harder the disconnect, and we're good. We're good. We're going to change the level. going to banish you. Decrease, yes. Summon Wada. Now he breaks pretty bad. But hey, Fortune Vision. It's a Pog. Um, actually, that is a Pog because one, we can Cosmic right now. That's a stinky card. Um, dead ass. I low key wanted to summon Archive Magician. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> We're already going Oonga Boonga as it is. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let's let's see. We're already going Oonga Boonga, boys. We might as well just go 110% Oonga Boonga. Other back row. Gone. Yeah, get all this bullshit out of here. We're just full... We're, Oonga Boonga to the max. There we go, boys. Oonga Boonga to the max. We're going over and top of Oonga Boonga. Hey, you gotta fight fire with fire anyways, and as you guys can tell, this Oonga Boonga deck is Oonga Boonga as fuck anyways. So, you know what? We're, we're just we're going to the max, boys. We're gonna out Oonga Boonga this Oonga Boonga player. Okay, what do I want to go for that could give us the most lethal? Um, I think I think we might as well just go into every, huh? So, I, I will summon win. We're gonna summon win, play calling... We're gonna special summon past. We're gonna play time passage. Dude, I am hyped for when he summons a lava golem. It's gonna be lit, dude. I am super hyped. Super hyped indeed. Um Ever doing the fights. So he takes no battle damage. We do get that 400. Summon your Lava Golem, bro. You're a true stall player if you summon Lava Golem. Do it, bro. Do it. 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 Summon Lava Golem. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. Hey. 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 It's your boy, Lava Golem. Ooh, and he got one card. Let's see if that's a reactable card or not. Because we're going to summon our win. Pop that card. Yes. No, 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 no. Actually, I fucked up because we can't use wind's effect no more. I should have, I should have vibed. I should have just stayed in my own lane. Fuck. Now that back row card's going to be an issue. Let's see if it's a reactable one or not, though. Actually, you know what? We're going to, we're going to summon, we're going to summon Scrap Dragon. We're going to style on this fool. scrap -o dragon Could have got rid of the Lava Golem, but at the same time, we do gotta beat the shit out of this lad. So you know what? It's time, boys. We're gonna pop this. You gotta fight Ooga Boonga with Ooga Boonga. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking pussy. You didn't want to get killed by your own monster. You know what? You know what? That Scrap Dragon play was the best play because you gotta fight Ooga Boonga with your own Ooga Boonga. So you know what? Fuck that kid. Stinky stall deck. Uh... I was going to do a Duel Links top 5 plays, but I can't open links on PC. Oh, if you want to do that, 
Um, the best way to do it is load up an Android emulator on your PC. Yeah, if you want to do that, you got to load up an Android emulator on your PC, download Duel Links on the Android emulator, and then you got to open up the links to the Duel Replays on your Android emulator. So yeah, you got to do that. That's how you do it. Yeah, go watch my like old ass Duel Replay series, because that's what I used to do. Um, I would, to do my Duel Replay series, what I would do is I would download an Android emulator, install Duel Links on it, and then... Whenever I would take a look at a replay, I would uh, go into like the Android browser, copy and paste that in there, load up on Duel Links, and good to go. Hmm. Um. Okay, I think we'll be okay. So we're gonna do this. Yeah, I got you, Galaxy. Yeah, I used to do like a dual replay series on my channel where I would take a look at people's dual replays and go react to them. It was a cool series. I just never felt like continuing it. Ah, oh no, we saw one water in our deck. I was about to cry. I was about to cry. I was like, did I fuck up? Did I oof up? I just never felt like continuing it. I didn't have any uh, more passion for the series. Hey yo, faced that annoying burn deck earlier. So tilting. Do I bet, man? I'm glad I was able to smack that deck up, silly. The fact that people still play stall, stall is just something else. Something else. I'd surrender to. I'd surrender to. Dude, Metapiss is annoying. Metapiss. Yeah, deck's annoying, I agree. Do -do 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 -do. He's just recording replays. I want to keep with OBS. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah, it's just for me. Um, what was cool about the dual replay series, though, is that people would send me dual replays, and then I would, like, react to their dual replays and upload them on the channel. Well, there you go, man. I got you. I got you that strat. Yeah, I'll get, it's so annoying in life. I, I, I vented about this on my last stream. I vented a lot about it a lot on my last stream. But, yeah, it's so annoying when, like... You put something out there in the universe, you mention something out loud for other people to hear of like a cool idea or something, and it just does not happen type of scenario. It happens way too much. There's so many times where I like talk about something good in my life, and then like it still wasn't 100% yet. And since it wasn't a 100% thing that happened yet, but it was like the ball was rolling to get to that point, and then it just didn't happen. It's a big sad, big sad indeed. Dude, like Galaxy said, bro, if I actually try in Duel Links, I can I can get places. And I've actually said that before. For anybody that like wants to reach King of Games in Duel Links, you just just try. If I can do it, you can do it too. You just got it just depends on like what decks of you have, of course, but yeah, let me let me focus on this real quick though. Make a lull. I want you to level you. Vanish you. Decrease. Summon you. But yeah, no, anybody can reach King of Games and stuff. You just got to put a lot of time and effort into it. And of course, you might want to build the, the top tier meta deck and stuff. But if you just play the game hardcore, you can eventually get that top tier meta deck and smack up the ladder silly. But of course, it's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, for sure, man. No, I have like a lot of like one of content that... I have in the works. Yeah, actually, one of the one of videos that I actually have, all I need to do is edit it. I gotta remember to edit that before I forget. Too bad, like, after the stream, I gotta head to bed because I have work at 6 a.m. Well, there's, like, a one of video that's gonna be new on the channel that I think you guys are gonna appreciate. It's gonna be very clickbaity, but I feel like you guys are gonna be interested in something like it. So, um, there's that. 
Um, and what else? So there's that video and there's like two other videos. There's like a Pokemon video that I want to work on. That's not part of my Let's Play. It's actually completely original content. And then I have that, and then I talked about that meme anime body pillow video. That one, though, is like, I need to wait for the company to email me back. Because we exchanged back and forth. I told them all they needed to know to send me the anime body pillow, and they haven't responded back to me. They're about to send a SWAT team to me, boys. GG. What the Wolf 7? Dead. And yeah, and I know, like, Dan said that he wanted to record sometime this week, but I don't know if, him, if he's going to get around to helping me. Uh, record a draft pack with him, but honestly, all I care about is that podcast getting released. Once that podcast gets released, I'll be happy. But he still wanted to do the draft pack video with me sometime this week. So yeah, now there's a lot of stuff, but it's like, ah, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Just a wait and see type of thing. Ooh, that's a pog. Yes. And we just win right here. Play Summon Light, play Calling, Special Summon Past, Time Passage, oh wait, we can't do the exact strat, so we gotta, so we gotta summon, ooh, actually, we're gonna have to go for something else, yeah, we gotta do this, we gotta increase the level by two, so we gotta get rid of you two lads. It's level by two. Okay. Okay. So I was gonna go for that other play, but I don't think we could because we had our two wins and we already had our water. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I just the scoopers and metaphors not worth the effort. Oof! What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? New congratulations, Nightlife. You get a lot of interesting cards from the packs. Dude, I really want the alternate Neos, though. Hopefully they're still doing the four duels a day in Stage 2. They probably are. Yeah, because I, I just want to get the alternate Neos art. That's what I want the most. I'm glad I'm getting through so many stages of the KC Cup, though, today. Because I really need them gems. I need to do a better job of saving up my gems. Especially for the box that we'll probably be getting soon. La da da da. La da da. La da. How many people do we have in the stream though? Dude, we have had a concurrent like 136 viewers for a while now. I appreciate you guys stopping by to the stream. We got the chill stream. We having that chat interaction. We vibing. We talking. And your boy Wattle Stone is actually winning duels, so good stream, good stream. I gotta forget though that KC Cup streams usually do well on YouTube. Dude, don't jinx it, boys. We're jinxing it, cause this hands kind of doo doo. Ah, oh, we good, we good. Go summon light. Go into calling. Summon with our past. Time of passage. Almost misclicked. Almost ruined my non-existent career. Okay, draw the two. Ooh, what a good fucking draw two that was. That was a really good draw two. I like it, I like it a lot. We go into our every. We go attack the Cosmo Brand. I don't wanna risk summoning a blue eyes. I'm good. I'm good, dude. Hate the RNG card drops. Oh, wait, I forgot. We can't even kill it yet. We just vibing, dude. We just vibing right now. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna summon my every and pass, bro. I don't want to risk a fucking blue eyes right now. Hey, would you look at that? It's a magician's robe. Dude, we'll, we'll take on this dark magician or blue eyes. We got this. We got this. It's dark magician. Dead ass, bro. I think I'm gonna flip down the Dark Magician, cause fuck a thousand knives. I'll let him kill my every. I'm an alpha male, I'll let him kill my every. Hey. Hey. 
Hey! Actually, I might be able to kill? Yeah, so if someone wins, someone passed. Yeah, I think we're good. Stinky Dark Magician. This is definitely a different take on Dark Magician, though. I'll give respect to him. And then we're gonna go into Arcanite. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this deck has been fun to play tonight just because of the fact that it's a Synchro deck. And Synchro decks are so much fun to play. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Uh, how to get that Dark Magician? If you want to get the Arcana one, try any of your UR tickets. I just type in Dark Magician and see what pops up. Yeah, if we go to, like, the card catalog. Type in Dark Magician. Yeah, so for this one, only through login bonuses. We haven't been able to get that from UR tickets yet. I think this one might be in some UR tickets. I think that's how you got a Prismatic of it. So this guy summoned a Prismatic of that one, right? And then for the Arcana one, just farm Arcana, rank duels and shit like that. I think this one is available in some tickets. Like they made that one available in some tickets. Yo, let me snag up all those delicious gems. Let me snag them up. Uh, the love Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. Dude, low-key I am a beta male, but I do not love Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, the only, the only like, Star Wars ones that I liked from, like, the new ones was the first one. I think The Force Awakens. What I liked about that is that it was a fret, it was a new story. And, of course, it wasn't insane, but it was a new story. It was the first time that me and my family went out to a opening night for a movie theater. And from that point, that was like our tradition was to go to every single Star Wars film on opening night. That was like our tradition from there on out. So that was like a way for me and my family to spend time with each other. So I really liked episode seven of Star Wars. That was really cool. The story was had a good had a promising start. Um, it was really cool to see all the other like or hear all the Star Wars fans being also enthusiastic that Star Wars is like officially back. And it was a new generation of Star Wars. Really cool. Um, but yeah, now the new movies, like the new movies, I don't hate them because I'm not that big of a movie critic. Um, but they're definitely not movies where I'm like, hey, I'm going to like remember them and like love them to death. And also, since I am not a hard Wars Star Wars, hardcore Star Wars fan, I never really cared too much about ranting on the new Star Wars films. My dad, on the other hand, though, he's a huge Star Wars fan. He's been a Star Wars fan since uh, since he was a kid. So he had some uh, criticisms to say for the new ones and stuff. So there's that. Rogue One was entertaining. Yeah, dude, um, Solo and Rogue One were pretty cool. I like those. So just these two. Are gonna eat those UR and SR tickets? Yes, sir. I forgot, I still haven't even used my other one right there. Nor my skill ticket. Fun, fun, fun. You let your chat do that, Galaxy? Bro, you clowning. You clowning. Don't listen to the YouTube chat. Never listen to YouTube chat. Dude, don't listen to YouTube chat. <laughs> Anyways, though, it is two hours. We stream for two hours now. I mean, I put, I could push it for another hour. It would look good on my YouTube stats. But at the same time, I do got work tomorrow at 6 a.m. I'm kind of getting hungry kind of want to like vibe by myself for like an hour and call it a night so we're gonna wrap up the stream right here everybody as much as i probably should stream for another hour because this stream's been killing it we had a consistent like 140 viewers the entire stream that is insane boys and girls that is insane for boys and yous okay guys okay guys it do be like that sometimes it do be like that um yeah i'm gonna wrap it up right here the only thing i want to say boys and girls is go check out my content a pokemon content so my Pokemon Let's Play or whatever, please go watch part one of the Let's Play. YouTube is not pushing out the video. And I know for a fact people don't like, I know a lot of people don't care about the Pokemon Let's Play, which I understand. At the same time though, YouTube is also not pushing it out. So go check it out if you're interested in it. All the YouTube members, everybody that's a uh, YouTube member gets named after Pokemon stuff. So just go, just go to this video, go check it out. Go say it came from the stream or some shit like that. Like, go to the comments section and go be like, I came from the stream. And go check out uh, this Pokemon Let's Play. There's four parts. There's four parts to the Let's Play right now. 
There's a new episode of the Platinum um, Eclipse Randomizer every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What it is is that it's a normal Pokemon Platinum, but with a twist where there is a Trico, Charmander, and Totodiles, the starters. Every Pokemon that a trainer uses that's in the grass, that's from gym trainers and all that stuff are randomized. So there's a chance that I can encounter the god of all Pokemon Arceus. There's a chance that I can get absolutely booty clapped by a Garatina. You never know what happens. So be sure to go check it out and go show it some love. Push this video to a thousand views. There you go. Yes, Eddie and Galaxy are in the Let's Play. That's for sure. But F in the chat for Galaxy in episode four. Spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Go check it out. Love you all. Good night, everybody. Let me go get you guys some music uh, to play, and we will head on out of here. But still, thank you so much for the support on today's stream. You guys killed it with support on today's stream. I really do appreciate it. But we're going to go play some music for the rest of it. But yeah, go check out the Pokemon Let's Play if you haven't already. See you come back.